Hello guys, welcome back to NetMeans tutorial. In previous video, we see how can we um, make full screen of a JFrame. So now let's say you created your frame a full screen and you wrote a, an awesome code for your software with many many functioning. But your customer have no understanding of programming languages. So when he or will see your project, he will not see it like an awesome project. He not know programming language, so he will not know struggle you have done in writing programming language. So what will he see? He will see designing of your software, how the your so software looks like. So in this video, I am going to show you how can you design your project, make it look very very beautiful. So let's start. First of all, we are going to need an image for background of our frame, which will have all the elements. So let's see. This is an image of login screen. You can create it in Photoshop or Illustrator. It will be design of your software. So close this. Copy. Now go back to your project and in your source package create a new package named streams finish now paste your login screen here ok now remove these all present items ok now first you have to create a j label and remove text from this now uh, right click on this go to properties and in icon click on these three dots and choose your image from this project screens package screen file login ok close now um, resize your j label so it will cover your whole frame you have made designing according to your uh, screen size so if you uh, make little large frame it will not not affect your uh, design but but you have to see it is uh, uh, aligning with top so let's make it little less size okay now it is uh, aligning with your top so go go into right side and resize also in this in right side okay now your frame is ready now you have to add elements on this frame but when you add elements on this frame it will they will not overlap so first of all you have to change layout of this frame so for changing the layout of your screen go to navigation and if you not see navigator here go to windows navigator now right click on your JFrame and in the set layout set layout of the frame to absolute layout now you can start designing your frame first of all you are going to need two text fields ok now resize it to size of the your text field now add one more text field It will not much matter if it will be large size than this because it will not be shown to users. Now add a button with lab uh, and it will resize with login button. Now go back to navigator and bring label at bottom. Now all your text fields are visible. Visible. Let's remove all text from all. So 
so now our component are added so we have to hide them so go to source code source and you have to make sure you write code below init components otherwise it will show error so let's start hiding them you have to write j text field 1 dot set background new color zero 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 so it will hide your uh, text field now as you also have to hide its boundary so set write j text field one dot set border null you have to do same things with other components so let's say with uh, j text field two j text field two so uh, j button one and j button one so our now our design is ready so let's see if button is really working or not so let's double click on button to write the code of button so write code for button as when clicking on button show message dialog button working so whenever we click on button it have to show the message dialog button working so let's run this file and see is it working or not run run file so our frame is running and it is looking very very beautiful and you can see our text field also working both of them and button button also working okay now you can make it or more beautiful by changing uh, properties of your text field like changing its color to what you say like white uh, or changing its fonts so it look little large like this you can do an, anything to look your frame beautiful because customers will buy which they will see so make your software as beautiful as possible and then publish your software so that's all for this video i will see you in next video thank you for watching